Hi, I'm Max, and I just spent the last near half hour talking to myself for no reason. So basically what just happened is I did level 23 and OBS was not up at all. So I don't have any recording of gameplay, I just have face cam footage of me talking about the game. Luckily, it was kind of a dull episode, and I'm not just saying that, nothing happened. So, I figured, why not do something potentially stupid and go back down into the Chamber of Trials at the same level we were at, with limited supplies, just to do it. So, that's what I'm doing. Although, didn't I do level 5 already? Maybe I didn't. I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. Uh... Maybe the mobs respawn on the levels in the Chamber of Trials. But I would have thrown a portal down before I went down there. So I don't think I want to redo level 5 of the Chamber of Trials. I already did it. So I'm going to go down to level 6. And we're going to try to get some content someplace else. So I can sync the levels of the dungeon up again. I do really like the aesthetic of this level of the dungeon. I really do. It's uh, very odd. I'm studying art right now, like history of western art, and this is very like, uh, oh boy, what's the term? Now I'm in trouble. Like organic, um, like art nouveau, maybe? I don't know what I'm saying, but it's like plant-like. It's swirly. It's curvilinear. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm frazzled because I filmed an entire episode, but then I kind of didn't at the same time. So it's a little odd. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a level of the Chamber of Trials so I can keep the episodes consistent for the next episode. will be level 24 of the dungeon and will be episode 24 because I'm a doofus and I didn't open up OBS properly before doing what I was doing. Is that a... All right, just gonna ignore that. Hopefully the microphone is back to normal. Um, what I said in the last episode, as far as technical stuff, the reason why it sounded so bad is because I had the microphone on the wrong setting. Somehow the knob got turned to omnidirectional. It's a Yeti microphone, which is a really good microphone. I can't recommend it enough. Um, it's a great mic, but it was set to omnidirectional, which is for like a room full of people, like singing and with instruments instead of one person's face mashed right up near it, which is not what that setting is for. And so that's why it sounded so bad, is because it was on a more sensitive setting to pick up sounds further away, um, and I'm right up close to it. So that's why it didn't sound good. I mean, I have the um, pop filter on anyways, but it still sounded really buzzy and bad. Is that a tea set? Is this like an Alice in Wonderland situation? Oh, that's not. Those are like urns, like trophies. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a level aesthetic look like this before, which I like. It looks like a normal place, but abandoned. And then the music sounds cool as well, which I hope the music isn't too loud. Uh, okay, this is all twisty up in here. I can't say enough how shocked I am at how well Miles does in the Chamber of Trials on any given run that he's done down here. It usually goes pretty well. Which, again, Skeleton Nightmare. Fascinating. Miles took him down real easy. Okay, so yeah, this level is much, much bigger than I was anticipating originally. Oh, I love the music for this level. We got a weird little eyeball slime thingamajig. And again, we don't have any quests for these Chamber of Trials episodes. Flawless Garpike didn't see that before. We missed something up here. Let's fill this whole mess out. I really do love this level aesthetic. It's, it's um, unconventional. The flooring is kind of cool looking. So, Miles. You have been poisoned. Are, are you ever gonna tell me why 
You want to kill a dragon so bad? All right, all right. I meant no offense. I'm just curious why that's like the only thing that's been on your mind since you started your adventure. Well, I kind of figured that it was something vendetta related just because of how single-mindedly you've been approaching this entire adventure. I mean, it's been like the one thing you care about down here. Like none of these other monsters like you you really care about defeating, but I mean, I don't know. I guess I could tell you were looking for something. All right, well, I don't have to talk about it anymore. Just curious. All right, well, this gets real squirrely over there. Lots of tiny little tunnels. Uh, we got over here, Orc Striker. I think that's the whole level. You got another level in you there, bud? All right, let's do it. In the last episode, I did buy this Talon Scythe from one of the shopkeepers down in level 23. Can't use it yet. You still got a way to go before we can use it. But the spike in how much damage it does versus what we're using now, it's basically like our battle scythe, but just like a double headed one, which I thought was really cool. It was on brand. I think it's, I think it's neat. Whoa. What, it is so odd. The levels of, di like, the design of the levels in the Chamber of Trials are so markedly different from anything in the dungeons in the town of Grove. It's it's definitely odd. Like, I like it, but it's, it's, it's weird. Like, this is very textured <laughs> for this game. It's almost a little busy, like, to look at because of how much detail is here. What do we got? It'd be great if this was a short level of the dungeon, but I doubt it's going to be. Savage Kobold. He's got a light sword. I accidentally sold one of these. Well, not accidentally. I sold it not realizing that it was a glowy sword. Um, when it was in my inventory that I had picked up and was like, oh, this looks so cool, and then I got rid of it. Um, but it really doesn't do enough damage for me to justify keeping it it just doesn't it looks cool but it doesn't do near enough damage it would have to do for me to keep it if i found a glowy sword that did a bunch of damage i would definitely grab that but that one just isn't uh, very impressive compared to my awesome battle scythe so a nice little pointless room there all right let's see what's down this direction uh, coffee, gotta have that. Dark Goblin, take him down. What do we got? Oh, I just walked past something. We got some evil plants that are poisoning me. That guy kind of sounded like uh, the Tasmanian Devil from Looney Tunes. <laughs> uh, Dark Goblin. Got a little wasps, wasp fella. Guardian of Chaos. I don't know what that is, but I'm picking it up. Alright, what's back this direction? Lots of doors. All of my stuff's dispelled by this point. I got a treasure goblin. A toxic shroom. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, this goes way back here. Yeah, I don't need that archer's cap anyways. I already know that those don't do a lot of defense. And Goblin Flinger the Pestilent? Well, let's just take this guy down. He's got a title, so that's interesting. (laughs) 
Uh, I love Critical Strike. I love it so much. I want to keep leveling that up as much as I can. Um, it's just a lot of fun to be able to just shortcut a battle. <laughs> And it's it's a nice little surprise. It's it's like getting a raise. A trap has been sprung. It's just like just sort of like an unexpected boost to what you're doing. Just fun. Miles, you're you're a cool dude and all that, but you still look really dumb with your your combo. I just realized that I'm using this, and I have been the entire episode instead of this, which I mean doesn't really matter. If, if this were above ground and I was... Once I do level 24 back in the town of Grove, I'll switch back to, like, the longer range... Uh, whatchamacallit? The battle scythe. Light saber. I just got that. Don't want it. Saber, don't want it. Hatchet, don't want it. Oh, that's what the Guardian of Chaos was. One of those fate cards. Maybe I can sell that to someone in the Temple of Fate? I mean, that would make sense since it's a Fate card. But I have no idea how that system works. Or how much you'd get for one of those anyways. I don't know if it's worth my time. So if you know anyone who's played this game, if you're watching this and you know where I can sell those Fate cards, that'd be a good thing for me to know. Um, just so I can get them out of the chest in the Town of Grove. Just so I can get rid of that that's stuff that's taking up space. What do we got? Man, this uh, club just does so much damage. Get away from my pet. What do we got up here? Nice, nice bench. Nice little bench. All right, what's back here? A little spider. Oh, this is gonna be a Stupid long dead end, isn't it? Of course it is. Okay, cool. Awesome. Glad I did that. I think that's everything for this level, so I'll probably throw down a, a portal and go back into the Temple of Fate. And then I it's not I don't have any quests to finish, which is a real bummer. Um, so I'm not going to prolong it. This will probably be a shorter episode. I just felt like I needed, I needed a victory today after I wasted all that time on that episode. But of all the episodes that didn't get recorded, I don't mind it being the last one because nothing, nothing happened at all. Interesting. It was kind of boring. Honestly, the Chamber of Trials was actually better to record that episode just because... Um, of the cool level design. Like, I'm glad I got to see those. Those were really neat. Select a tail. No. Can I sell them to someone? To the temple of fate. Yeah, this is like the hub wherever all the quests come into place. Buy some fine goods. It's technically better than that, but it's the dumb hat again. Which I don't want, so yeah, uh, I'm I'm good. I'll be fine. Yeah, I don't want any of the stuff that this guy's selling, so I'll just go to the town of Grove and end the episode there. I think. So that was kind of like a a desperate attempt to record something after the last episode failed, but that means that next episode will be level twenty four. And it will be episode 24. I just like having the harmonious numbers match. Um, just because it, it's easier for me um, from a story standpoint to figure out where we are. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any comments about the game, any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I am having a lot of fun recording this, so I'm going to keep on going with the playthrough. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.